on one of our Q&A videos, y'all asked how we do get water. We're off grid, we have no well, and we haven't found a spring, but I'm gonna share with you how we do get water. I planted all these pole beans on the insides of my bed with the intention to get a bunch of cattle panels to have them run up because they're runner beans basically. I never got the cattle panels. So they're just doing their wild thing in the middle of our walkway. My brassica bed looks so sad, you guys. The worms totally demolished it before we could get to them. It's been a while since I've been out here, with good reason, but the ducks and the chickens got most of these breasts because we had to rip out. And my lettuce has bolted, but the tomatoes and peppers are coming in hot, so that's a good thing, praise the Lord. Here comes Brandon. Isn't that Good a pretty afternoon. sight? All right, so we have three big tanks. One's a truck tank, one's a standing, just big old standing water tank, and one's an IBC tote. I don't know if you can see it from here. Right there it is, an IBC tote that we use to water the garden. Whoa. We get water two ways. Most of the time, thankfully, Brandon can get water from work. So he drives his truck to work um, with the tank in the back, this truck tank that I found on Craigslist for 75 bucks, you guys, it was a steal. But he fills that up at work, after work. So he switches, switches into the company truck, does his job. When they get off of work to switch back into their regular everyday truck, he goes and fills up that big old truck tank from his boss's spring, which is such a blessing and we're super thankful for that. That's free, his boss lets him do that and we are grateful. The second way is if for some reason we run out of water on a weekend or um, late at night, Brandon can go to the camp where we used to be parked before we moved to our property and we can fill up water there. It's very costly though. <laughs> we used to think it was a steal, but now that we get free water, we're like, yikes! It's $10 every 100 gallons and when you have a family our size and you're watering cattle and watering a garden, that money adds up quickly. So we prefer to fill up water as often as we can daily after work, usually, um, if you can, during the week. and then make it through the weekend with whatever we have in our tanks. Did you introduce the four new members? Hey. Okay. Brandon pulls around our yard and parks right here in front of the camper, that's where we are right now, so that he can pump the water from the back of his truck through the gray hose that I just showed you and using that blue pump um, into this big storage tank. So that's the first thing we do. This is the big storage tank that we pump all of our water out of into the camper, which also has a holding tank and has a built-in pump that works just like all the other campers in, in the world. So that's how we get water home and into our storage tank and into the camper. We go through a ton more water in summer than we do in winter, just a lot more water. We go through a lot of water anyways because we're a huge family. Um, I can say huge because for, to me, I think 10 kids is huge. <laughs> we're a pretty big family and we are feeding a lot of, watering a lot of animals and, and a garden and whatnot. So we go through a lot of water. We've actually increased that number quite a bit since we've been getting it from, um, from work because we haven't had to like conserve it as much. We get it more readily. Um, but our goal is ultimately to get a well on our property. We've been working towards that well for months now. 
but there's only one driller in our little town and it's Gentry dr Drilling. I don't know if you know them, if you're local to us. I know there's some local viewers, but they are so hard to get a hold of. We've called and left messages and made an appointment for them to come out and they've canceled appointments. Um, I know for a little bit their truck was broken, but it's been six, seven months. And we, we, along with everybody else up here on our property and a few people that we know cannot get a hold of Gentry Drilling. So for the time being, we're trucking in water. So our next big goal <laughs> is to get a bigger storage tank because that 400 gallon tank just, it's not cutting it. We need one of those big old black water tanks and we're saving and saving and saving to get to that point. That would be an extreme leap forward for our family on our off-grid property been quite the challenge for us to pick and choose which project to start first. I know everybody keeps asking, well, where are you now? How far are you? Are you close to building? And we are close to building. We've got our Fox blocks, which if you've watched any of our other videos, you know that we, we are going to use the trusses and a lot of the lumber that we got from taking down that barn. But for the main structure of the exterior of our home, we're gonna use Fox blocks, which is ICF, insulated concrete forms. Um, just because with the cost of lumber these days, the ICF, ICF forms were way more um, efficient for us, cost-wise and building-wise. So, our main goal was a well when we first decided what we were gonna spend money on first, but when we couldn't get a hold of the well company, we had to take another step forward. So we purchased our ICF blocks, we dug our septic tank. I don't know if you guys can see it over there. Our septic tank is dug and in. Our blocks are ready. And then our next big step is a water tank. Um, so we can start washing laundry and just holding more water for our family for an entire month, really. Um, we want to make a whole day. So we'll pick one day a month where we just take truckloads and truckloads um, of water from Brandon's work to our house. So we can just fill that big black water tank and then it'll save us so much time because he won't have to do it after work every day. I'm not gonna deny that blessing, it's a huge blessing, but it also takes a lot of time. Um, so if we could get it down to just trucking in water one or two days a week to filling up one tank and we could wash laundry at home, that would be so huge for us. Um, laundry mat days are full days. Trucking in water is an additional hour, hour and a half after work every day. So. That's where we're at. That's how we do water on our off-grid homestead. I'm sure a lot of other people do it a lot of different ways and maybe even better than us, <laughs> but we're doing the best we can with what we have. On the subject of water, we also got asked about showers and bathing. We have a shower in our camper and we all shower regularly, which is another reason why we run out of water so quickly because there's a lot of us and our boys work construction and it's summer and it's stinky <laughs> so they shower every single day and so we run we go through water quickly when we do have to fill up at camp on those emergency occasions we can still all go as a family and shower at camp which is a huge time saver believe it or not although it costs money for us to fill water we get free showers so I can wash all the kids all the little ones all at once and that's huge for me Otherwise, it just takes a lot of time and water here in the little camper bathtub. Um, so that's how we do showers. So even though all of these things are super challenging for us, we've learned how to persevere. We've learned how to make things work for where we are. And um, we've learned to be grateful. Our kids are super grateful for water. They know how to conserve. conserve. When I say we've run out of water, what means is we want run out of water in our tanks, in our outdoor storage tanks. So the truck tank and the 400 gallon tank and the garden tank. Um, we don't fill the garden tank very often actually. Um, and we, if we do, we only fill it halfway just because we pray for rain, <laughs> honestly. Um, if we had a well, then I would definitely pump and fill the garden tank. But getting water is such a struggle that I don't fill the garden tank nearly as often as I should. Um, but we always, Brandon never leaves the house without water in the RV tank. So that storage, RV storage tank um, is always at least three quarters of the way full before he leaves us for the day. Um, if, if for some reason all of our tanks are empty, we have a little bit in the RV tank and our Berkey's are usually full so we have drinking water because I can't get water while he's at work. There's no way I can chuck in water in the van <laughs> or with all the kids because yeah. But, that's our water situation. I hope that answers that question. Um, if you guys have any other questions about water or bathing or anything that I didn't cover, cause I'm kind of trying to do this fast, 
um, just let me know. I hope that that might give you some ideas or if someone you know is looking to buy property and move off grid, um, maybe that will help them. I don't know. But thank you guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I appreciate you guys supporting our family and loving us so well and watching all of our videos. We are crazy grateful. And I will see you on the next one.